Hi there, I'm meteorologist Chikage Windler, and here's a look at tonight's Chicks Chat as we look ahead to the weekend and also look at the possibility of maybe not hitting triple digits after all. I definitely hope it's more than wishful thinking. Because of the rain we had today, I'm hopeful that tomorrow it'll be a struggle to reach much higher than 98 degrees. So here's your Friday planner, 76 in the morning, 91 by noon, 98 for four o'clock high temperature. Now it will feel like triple digits. I've got your heat index at 100 to 105. How about the weekend? If you've been watching the last several days, you know I've had those 100s parked on the weekend. Now, again, because of the rain and I'm hopeful that the moisture left over will keep us just shy of the century mark. I know it's mainly just a mental thing. What's the difference between 99 and 100? A measly degree, but there's something about not going for 100 that makes me feel oh, just a little bit more comfortable. We got the much needed rain and that also was enough to cancel that heat advisory that had been supposed to be in effect all the way through Friday in Milam County. I will tell you there's one downside though. There's going to be some haze in the air next couple of days. That's courtesy of smoke from wildfires all the way in Canada. Then as we head through the latter part of the weekend, we might actually be dealing with more of that African dust. A drought update. I know many of you asking, you know, how much did the rain from late last week help us out? We saw some spots with, you know, four, five, six, seven inches of rain. Well, it actually did some good through the I-35 corridor where you can see last week, Austin, Georgetown to San Marcos, were all in that moderate drought. Well, look what happened this week after that rain. Yep, upgraded from moderate to abnormally dry. That bright yellow from Georgetown to Austin, we will take it. But on the other hand, out toward Fredericksburg, no change. Extreme drought continues. The hill country just didn't reap the benefits of this latest rain. As for today, another nice, pleasant surprise to get that rain. An inch fell at Lake Bastrop. Meanwhile, 0 0.09 was the official total out at Camp Mabry. Not a lot, but we'll take what we can get. Scott Graham emailing this photo in from Anderson Mill, four tenths of an inch. Hopefully we can bring more rain in the future, and that's actually what I'm tracking. It'll be hot, humid, and dry as we head through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But then an approaching cold front. Yep, another one of these rare cold fronts. I say rare, but to have two in the same season, pretty cool. It looks as though it's going to get closest to us Thursday and Friday of next week. For that reason, I've not only upped our rain chances, but lowered our temperatures. And there are several computer models that continue to suggest that by Friday of next week, highs may be hard-pressed to get out of the 80s. Talk about relief.